All right, folks, welcome back to the Daily Channel. Today we are checking out what could be the future of 7-Eleven. Now, if you guys have been following the channel, you know that we love going to a gas station, a food places, Bucky's, you got Wawa's, you got Sheets, you got motorcycles, and they are becoming increasingly competitive. It's getting less and less about the uh, gas and more about like the uh, experience inside of a gas station. It's almost like the Disneyification of gas stations. There you go. It's there you an go. Experience. It's an experience. Never know what we're going to find inside, but <laughs> let's go find, find out. Well, before we get inside, I might as well uh, show you the outside. This place has a Raise the Roost chicken and biscuits in here. There's your uh, new school little 7-Eleven sign and also a Laredo Taco Company. And then the uh, gas station uh, pumps themselves are nothing really uh, special, although they're kind of updated. This place has only been open for like a month or two, and it's one of the uh, newer concepts that 7-Eleven has got going on. But uh, let's go check out the uh, inside. Oh, they got a, a bunch of specials right here. Jalapeno poppers. Jalapeno. Why are the jalapeno poppers red? Oh, I wonder if it's like the red hot Cheetos. Red hot Cheetos jalapeno poppers for the boys. Whoa. 329 for a uh, five count of those. We got some breakfast tacos. Those actually look really good. Yeah. And uh, we got some chicken fajitas over there. And then this is the uh, Raise the Roost chicken and biscuits. The chicken looks really good. 299 on that. Get a uh, fried chicken two piece combo for 799. If they look anything like the uh, pictures, it's going to be uh, quite the treat. Oh, yeah. Although they are lacking in the uh, ice. Uh, <laughs> what are those things called? Ice machine thingies. Oh. Yeah, Bucky's has like a hundred of them and outside. They make their own ice. Yeah, they filter yes. and like use reverse osmosis to filter and science, science things for ice. But uh, <laughs> let's go see if this uh, place is ice cold inside. I don't know what that meant, but we're going inside. Thank you. Wow, this place is definitely different than any 7 uh, Eleven that I've ever seen. We got the uh, Slurpees back there, got a frozen section, got a uh, monster uh, dirt bike right there, got a whole section of uh, coffee over here. Wow. Well, they made up for their uh, lack of uh, ice uh, refrigerators out there. there oh, this is really cool. I don't even know what half of these are. Flat white? Flat white. I have no idea what that is. We got some winter <laughs> winter Wonderland cocoa machines over here. All of the accoutrements uh, that you'll ever need for some uh, coffee. Wow, this place is uh, awesome. It's kind of funny with all the food options in here. This seems to be the uh, most picked over. The traditional roller items. You got yeah, chili cheese burrito dogs have never, back for a limited time, I did not catch that the uh, first time that they were out here. Also, they have warm buns. No one likes cold buns. That would be the ultimate collab, a White Castle inside of a 7-Eleven. That's too much. Jalapeno cheese sliders. We do live pretty close to the uh, world's largest White Castle. We'll definitely be doing a, a full video there. We've shown it a couple of times yeah. on the main channel, but we have not done a full video there. Also, I did not know that 7-Eleven has their own ice cream to yeah, this effect. Butter Peanut butter. Cup. We got mint cookies and cream. cream wow, strawberry banana shortcake. It's my nickname. We got a lot of to-go food over here. They've got some cheesecake, strawberry uh, cheesecakes. We got some turkey chipotle wraps to go. Got a mega ham cheese wedge. Oh, snap. I don't know what that is. Oh, snap, spice pineapple bites. I've never seen anything but their pickles. Oh. Ooh. And cool. also, <laughs> it's kind of funny, 7-Eleven has their own brand of them now. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's Oh Snap, but they got like the marketing Oh, rights. really? It's all about the uh, marketing. We got some uh, sweet tea by the gallon, some lemonade by the gallon, some uh, fried chicken to go, and a chocolate pudding parfait. Oh yeah, Topo Chico, and a Malta India. Let's, uh, oh, they got a salad bar. Let's, or salsa bar. That'd be cool if they had a salad bar in here as well. Also got your uh, toppings for your hot dogs and uh, nachos, but I think it's time to get some food. All right, we got some stuff from both of the restaurants. We'll show you that when we get uh, outside. What, what are you, uh, salsa are you getting? Salsa Verde, it looks like a, a creamy one. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Also, that looks like heartburn right there. Some habanero. Yeah. Got some uh, fresh limes, some pico, salsa roja. Mm -hmm. Does that smell good? One. It does smell good. Oh. Can you guys smell it? it there you good. go. I can't even center it in the camera, <laughs> let alone let them smell it. One day. <laughs> All right, our smorgasbord has been procured. It's like my seventh time trying to uh, say that. We might have ordered a little bit of too much food, but we'll uh, be able to uh, take this uh, home. Let's get started. What do you want to get started off with? Also, this is a very fancy uh, little box right there. It's almost like KFC quality. Out, though, so I think they need a little. They need a little uh, time. All right, let's start off with the uh, Laredo Taco Company. Like oh my goodness, burrito. that is like a large burrito at a Taco Bell. You got guacamole on there. This is the picadillo, so it's basically a uh, ground beef, potato, peppers, and uh, guacamole on there. I think they have fresh cheese too. The tortilla looks ridiculously good. Oh, I think. Also, did you know that Taco Bell has a little hack right there? There's a little corner that you can put the uh, uh, your taco in and it doesn't leak through. 
fascinating. We'll have to show you that next now time. Now you know, but not today. Not today. We're at Laredo Taco <laughs> Company instead. Sand salsa. Sand salsa. Oh, that was a tasty looking bite. Oh, very good. Very good. Very very stuffed. We've got rice, beans, cheese, guacamole, and pico. Oh yeah, I forgot they. Uh, it's like literally just a burrito. They like, do you want uh, rice and beans and on your taco? Sure. Yeah, heck yeah. And I think this was a uh, two for four dollars or something like that. Let's see how much it actually was. Uh, two for no, it's two for four uh, four forty nine. We got the tacos, not the uh, burritos. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there that's you go. Good deal. Good deal. All right, let me try that one out. That thing is so stuffed. Oh man, that salsa is so good. Yeah, it smells good. Get a gallon of that with uh, some sweet tea to go, and we're good to go. <laughs> that's all you need. Man, that is so good. The tortilla is super, super thick. Mm -hmm. It's got to be to uh, hold up all yeah, the uh, meat. It's like a mini burrito. Yeah. All right, we're going to go with the uh, next one. Oh, I forgot we got the uh, horchata. Oh, yeah, it was only, it was only a, a dollar. dollar. That's crazy. <laughs> Very that good. That might be the best horchata that we've ever gotten. We used to get them at the flea market all the uh, time. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's like better than chilies. That looks so tender. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. You, Fly is under you're attack. You're so excited. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost <laughs> annoying as our videos. That is delicious though. So, you wanna try that one? Go. Try the salsa, try the salsa. That's so tender. Yeah. Chicken fajita from my gas station should not I, be that good. I understand it's why it's her favorite now. I, no words. This is so good. That is ridiculously good. This is like 30 minutes away from our house. Worth Definitely it. worth the uh, commute. <laughs> right. All right, what else do we got? We got some uh, Raise the Roost chicken and biscuits. I ordered a meal, and I think it comes with a uh, biscuit. I'm going to be very yeah. disappointed if it doesn't. Oh, it does. I also ordered fried shrimp from a gas station and <laughs> oh, mashed potatoes and gravy. I wasn't with him when you ordered this. Oh, my goodness. surprised to me, too. Oh, look, we got a double fork. Oh, nice. I don't know what that means. It's oh, they give you two of them? One uh, you know what's better than two forks? Not two forks. Wait, what? A schwork. <laughs> a schwork, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try the uh, shrimp or you want to let me? I'll let you know how shrimpy it is. You're not a big seafood person. Uh, yeah, it smells very shrimpy. Oh, you want to go with the uh, mashed potatoes and gravy? Mashed potatoes. Ashley is the official uh, gravy connoisseur. More of like a, a breakfast gravy. Yes. But we'll uh, let your credentials fly over. Oh, oh, man, those mashed potatoes are really good. Mm-hmm. That is some KFC competition if I've ever seen it. Now, Schwork would come in handy. Yeah, a Schwork is the way oh, to no, go. It's holding up. It's holding up under the intense pressure. <laughs> the scrutiny. <laughs> the scrutiny. Is that good? It's very good. You say KFC or that? Mm, KFC is just like childhood for me, but this is elevated. Yeah, you can taste all of the chemicals in KFC. Oh, yeah, but like. That's what adds to it, though. Yeah, it's part Without of the, the chemicals. Experience. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna try one of the S shrimp here. You want tartar sauce? Oh, yeah. Oh, teamwork. Oh, there we go. This is a big old fat shrimp. Mm -hmm. The actual breading looks really good. Yeah. If this is, if this is good, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A regular uh, restaurant's gonna have competition, that let alone all the other gas jumbo stations. Shrimp. There you go. We should have wore the uh, jumbo uh, shrimp uh, minor league that baseball team shirt fitting. today. A two bite shrimp. That's from a gas a, station. Yeah, I thought this was going to be like a Like the bullet. popcorn? Or yeah, yeah. The super small popcorn ones. They fry them fresh. Pretty interesting. He's like, Ooh, is it okay you. if it's a five minute wait? And I was okay. like, yeah. He was like, we fry them fresh. So I was like, but they're just going to be like in this little container. Yeah, like the to-go things. The warmer, what do you mm. call those? The heaters? Mm-hmm. The lamps. Yeah. Salamander. You I think that's it? what it's called. I'll judge, I'll uh, react to your face. Okay, that's why. A double reaction. <laughs> Ashley's not a big shrimp person. Oh, She's spoiled though. Whenever we go on vacation, we go to this town uh, right outside of uh, Brunswick, Georgia. Mm. They have the best shrimp in the world. Oh, uh, without a doubt. Is that good though? Definitely for gas stations, they're incredible, but they are just like on their own, very, very good. Mm. That's a good description. That, All right, what else do we got in here? You want to try the biscuit? It oh, is yeah. a, a biscuit place. It is a biscuit, chicken I'll let and biscuit. People see the uh, even facial though, reaction of even that. Even though we didn't get chicken. <laughs> I'm not a big fried chicken person, to be mm. honest with you. <laughs> That's a pretty solid biscuit. I'm gonna say, without even trying that, that's gonna be the most disappointing thing of the day. It's not like super dry. The, the taste is good, but it's just. Well, with the gravy though. Oh, okay, that's There right. we go. Right. This is how it's we're gonna like, elevate it. Elevate it's our gas station food. With all this. Pro move. 
Pro move? Pro move. I'm a fat kid. I know how to make everything taste good. <laughs> All right, let me try the hard try back. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. We also have a dessert over there. Mm -hmm. Not the tartar sauce, but actual dessert. Oh, this slammed my knee. I'm you crying okay? behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredibly good. That is one of the best horchatas I've ever had easily. Without a doubt. That's... I don't know what this place is. Well, I know what the place is. It's 7-Eleven, but like, what is this place? Yeah, what witchcraft and master wizardry. Wizardry. Yeah. I got no words. We're going to dessert? We're going to dessert. I will try the uh, mashed potatoes and gravy after dessert. <laughs> I will go home and eat nothing but dessert after this. $4.29 for a uh, cheesecake. It's like strawberry? It's, compared to everything else, it's not the uh, greatest deal, but it does look pretty good. I think the thing is upside down. Uh oh. It's not just me. Oh no. There we go. There you go. <laughs> this video is turning upside down. <laughs> I'm getting a little strawberry. Oh, wow. Looks pretty good. Good? That's pretty good. Pretty good? <laughs> All right. Maybe it'll redeem itself after the uh, biscuit catastrophe. You're not a huge cheesecake person. I'll eat that one. Yeah. It's super rich. It's not overly sweet. A lot of the mm -hmm. times, it's like you can tell that it's cheap because it's just like pounds and pounds of uh, sugar. This that one one's is still more, good. You can actually yeah. taste the cheese. There's more substance to it, like our videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Also, thank you guys for uh, taking in your daily dose of uh, torture here. We just passed 19,000 subscribers the uh, other day, and we've only started the channel probably three months ago three months so thank you guys for uh, taking in your uh, daily dose of uh, torture i <laughs> will try the biscuit we'll end it off with the biscuit okay. hopefully it's not a low note i'll go with the biscuit and then i'll go with the uh, mashed potatoes and gravy because the mashed potatoes and gravy look that pretty good yeah there you go biscuit it's not a bad biscuit no that's actually pretty good oh it, it's like me you don't go based on looks i'm there's much more going on <laughs> that's what <laughs> ashley tries to tell me and convince me every day <laughs> It's just comparatively to everything mm -hmm. else, it right. can't shine on its own. I go tacos, eight and a half out of ten. Shrimp for gas station shrimp, ten out of ten. Without a doubt. A salsa, I'm gonna go buy this by the uh, gallon. Yes. The cheesecake for a cheesecake is probably like seven out of ten. Here we go, mashed potatoes and gravy. You can say your rankings while I uh, devour this. I would say it's about equal. I I put the the tacos at like a nine out of ten though. Nine out of ten for sure. We do have like some uh, taco uh, gas stations by where we used to live in Daytona that were like legit, like, yeah. Next level. Next level, so that's why I compare it to you, but well, there general was gas station, it's not General outside. gas station. There was that one gas station taco truck that used to order so spicy that it would make my eyes cry and I wasn't even eating it. Well, we should've got the jalapeno poppers. Ah, I think, man, I think we, yeah, I think I think we, we did, did enough <laughs> damage, but. From your expression, I say you like the mashed potatoes and, and gravy. are definitely a, a saving grace. The biscuit, better than it looks, Everything was better than it looks, but uh, let us know if you guys have tried out this uh, 7-Eleven or your favorite gas station. I, th ah, I think I'm still going to go Bucky's just because they have, like, unbelievable amount of merch for no reason. Yeah, it's an experience. Yeah, it's more like a, We've been a, a on theme a, park. a Wawa kick lately. Oh, Wawa, just for, like, the, the gobbler sandwich is really good. Mm -hmm. but and the regular sandwiches. I gotta say, 7-Eleven, stepping, stepping up their game. Stepping up their game, for sure. You heard it here first, first folks. Why, do I, why can't I say, <laughs> if a word starts with the same letter two times in a row, I can't it say it. It throws off your groove. First fork, smorgasbord procured. That's not even the same letter. But I hope you guys did like this uh, video. <laughs> <laughs> if you did like, button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See you next time, time with another random video. Oh, Rate there's this a bike rack. Fascinating. Uh, it's probably not fascinating to the people watching because it's been there the entire right. time. <laughs> It'd be fascinating if they like just put it up. What? But hopefully you guys put up with this uh, video. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. And we'll see you next we'll see you time. Next time. Horchata, a dollar, best dollar I've ever spent. Actually, our next garage sale video on the main channel, best dollar we've ever spent. I gave it away. Intent. <laughs> Bye. Bye.